All right, and so we begin the first level of this world, Pastel Highway. And the first level is stitched together. So one of the mechanics here in this level is that we have these little cushion-looking things that you can that you can push in, and then sometimes it will they will reveal some stuff. Um, can be it can be flowers, it can be red coins. Um, so just keep an eye on those things. This is a relatively long level. There's also a few new new enemies that we're gonna be seeing in uh, this level. So keep an eye on those as well. And some of these enemies, some of these new enemies are uh, pretty aggressive to deal with. That's not very fun. So uh, this level is full of these jumping shy guys. And they can sometimes be a pain to deal with when trying to avoid them. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully it doesn't turn out to be that bad, but we'll see. Uh, also pay attention to the background foreground, because sometimes you'll be seeing things like, such as that shy guy who was revealing a red coin! Oh man, so that was one of the new enemies right there. We got that weird looking enemy, I don't know what, I don't even know what it is. It's like a shy guy trash can looking thing or something. I, I, I don't even know, but um, uh, that thing will just come at you. You can defeat it by ground pounding it if you want. Um, and that's really all you, uh, and that's really all that, that there is to it. Nothing too special. And now we have these new enemies right here. This is a, uh, a classic Yoshi enemy uh, known as Gusty. Um, they look like these, uh, well, in regular, in regular Yoshi's Island, in original Yoshi's Island, they, um, they look like plastic bags, so I like to nickname them plastic bags, but, um, obviously, um, <laughs> they don't look like plastic bags in this game at this time. Um, I guess that's just, uh, um, uh, Nintendo Switch, um, technology doing its, doing its finest right here. Uh, well, I gotta give it, I gotta give it to the, um, uh, the developers of this game. Um, they, uh, they, they the, the art style of this game is, re is really cool. I, I, I personally really like it. Okay, so come down over here, we have these coins. I don't think, yeah, none of them take reds. Alright, uh, let's see, anything else? No, okay. So let's go ahead and continue onwards. There's a little opening down over here, so let's see what's in here. Coins, okay. I guess uh, that could be beneficial when uh, you're trying to meet that 100 coin requirement at the end of the level. Alright. Just keep an eye out on, on some things here, just to make sure that you're not missing anything like, for example, there's something over here. So let's see what we got. Uh, I'm gonna go down over here first. Um, oh, okay. I guess we're, I guess we're gonna go up to the top first. Okay, there's a hidden cloud right there. Oh, okay, okay. I knew there was something about uh, about that uh, little opening there. So you really have to make use of these flutter jumps because a lot of these jumps you can barely make with just a, a flutter jump. You gotta take advantage of that. Okay, so we have a, a timer challenge right here. This one isn't hard as long as you don't as long as you don't make too many mistakes. Uh, okay, this is starting to look bad. Uh, okay, okay. So, Alright, yeah. Like I said, it's not- it, as long as you don't make, like, big mistakes, um, then you should be fine with that timer challenge. It's not- it shouldn't be, like, terribly hard. Typical. Um, and then back over there, uh, you saw me hit that presence. Keep an eye on that. The background's pretty colorful, so it is fairly easy to miss, uh, some details. Ooh, that was, that was a close one right there. Okay, so I don't believe any of these coins are red coins, but it's worth a check. Okay, yeah, I figured. But again, good, another good way to get to rack up on coins in order to meet that 100 coin requirement. Okay, so hit that prod plant down over there. We gotta get a few of those reds there. 
And we're actually gonna go ahead over to here. Now this, now this, this little area here is, is optional, but... Um, you can come over here and you can get this flower. Okay, so we're doing pretty good so far in progress. Even though it looks like that we don't have as much red coins compared to our flower count. But, um, we're actually on track. Usually in levels, I like to I like to have like a certain amount of red coins compared to my flower count. Uh, but uh, because, due to like the design of the level, uh, having this much uh, red coins right now is okay. Okay, so over here is our uh, I believe this is our last checkpoint of the, of the level here. This is a relatively long-ish level, as you can probably tell. We've been here for quite a while. Alright, go ahead and hit this and reveal some, uh, oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, that was scary. Reveal some coins, with some of them being red coins, so that's good. And then we're gonna go ahead over here, and, uh, you wanna make sure you, you explore this side, uh, like, on the top of some of the stuff, too. Yeah, these gusties just basically just come out from anywhere. You just want to be careful. It is really easy to get hit by them if you're not aware of, of where they might be. Okay, so make sure you have uh, some eggs here as we're gonna he approach our next timer challenge. Um, let's see, did I see a blue one with a flower or... Uh, oh, oh, that's not good. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, uh, I, I was used to seeing a different color Shy Guy uh, on my uh, practice run, and so uh, that, that kind of threw me off at the fact that that Shy Guy was blue this time. Because um, in, in, uh, when I was uh, preparing for uh, recording this level, um, the Shy Guy that had that flower was green, so I thought, oh man, they really changed the... Is there finally RNG in the, on these timer challenges? That would have been rather unfortunate for me. I prepared uh, pretty hard for this level. Alright, so hit that right there. That was really close! Oh no. Um, that's not good. Okay, so now I have to find a way to rack up on uh, HP now. That's not good. And, uh, and that's especially not good because now we're actually at the end of the level, so... Alright, 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 I have a plan. Um, so this, plan, this plan may not actually work, just due to the fact that... Um, okay. Alright. I don't know why I should be worrying about this, because I did say that I'm not going to worry too much about getting the maximum heart requirement. You know what? Yeah, that's, that's just what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go. Um, I've showed off, uh, all the ways that you can get hearts in this level, so we may as well just, we may as well just finish the level and I'll just do this off-screen. So, rather unfortunate mistake that I made at the very end. Um, like I said, those gusties can come out at places where you're not really expecting them to come out from, so I really did throw myself off there, unfortunately. But, um, that's okay. Because at least now I don't have to when I have to when I redo this level again I don't have to worry about uh, recollecting all all this stuff. So so that's all of, all all of the that's everything in this level that I want to show off. And now it's time to move on to the next stage of Pastel Highway. And uh, this level, ooh, got, those look like some really weird looking things. I guess we'll find out as we do the next stage.